Taurus friends, it's Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your snapshot energy reading from the 21st or the 28th. What does Spirit want you to know for this week? General snapshot reading. Dearest you, the simple yet powerful law of cause and effects mean everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence, and even in the spiritual world there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pays off. If, something, if some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing how we adore you? So there may be some challenges that you guys are facing this week coming toward you that are difficult to handle. I think there's some sort of need to pay attention to your intuition and understanding that karma is going to come around to those that have harmed you, to those that have put you in situations that are completely and absolutely unnecessary. The Four of Wands. There's a celebration at hand, or possibly there's some sort of thing that's going to happen this week that you're going to want to celebrate. You could be walking away from a home environment or walking away from something stable. The Eight of Cups is walking away from the emotional confusion. Perhaps there's celebration about walking away from the emotional confusion. Someone may walk away from something else and head towards you. I wonder if you feel or are going to feel at the start of the week that there's not really a lot to celebrate. But I get this sense and energy that you will really just want to walk away from confusing times and from people that, that don't have your highest good in mind. The lovers here, we have a soul contract. We have two people that are together that care about each other immensely. This could be child, parent, this could be lovers, this could be man, woman, 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 man, man, whichever it is to you, but there's some sort of soul contract that someone is fulfilling. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with fire signs. Soul contract based on helping somebody out in a circumstance or a situation. Perhaps you're an entrepreneur woman and it's taking great strength for you to manifest moving forward. I, I feel like somebody here is choosing their children over intimate love, seven of pentacles, deciding where you want to invest your money. It's like you've done the work, you've put the work in, you've done what it takes. You've put the work in. You're trying to decide where to work towards next. What's going to be the next thing to work towards. Really trust your intuition here. And remember that everything you do has far-reaching effects. Far-reaching reverberations in this web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? So I think you're, you're very well feeling upset and feeling like there's not enough karma in life. It's almost like stomping your bullish feet saying, you know what, I'm so sick and tired of the negative. The, the person that is the perpetrator getting away with what they get away with, there's some sort of indecision about family, about whether you should celebrate anything, whether you should walk away. The divine's asking you to have patience. They're trying to bring balance. There could be some sort of health issue that they're working on here. There's your energy, my Taurus friends. But you see, we have the fool in reverse. Not sure you want to take a leap of faith and start a new spiritual journey. Someone could be proposing marriage 
for proposing a long-term commitment, and I think that you very well may have too much on your plate in order to even consider it. It's almost like that type of commitment commitment would bring confusion. If that's the scenario, someone very well may feel like they've previously wanted marriage or previously wanted commitment, and now they aren't sure they do, or they are not wanting this type of commitment previously, but now they do. There's something about some sort of change, perhaps, in spiritual belief set, how you were raised, spiritual standing, some sort of belief that's changing. It's like you believe there's a higher purpose for everything that's going on, but where is the karma? What, like what this says, where is the law of cause and effect here coming into play? We have the Three of Cups, third-party interference, possibly in a relationship. It could be that there's children or adults or somebody that's coming in to have third party interference. It could be celebrating also a very passionate opportunity, signing a contract. This is awakening, new job, something you're passionate about moving forward with. Oh, look at that and the Ace of Cups. Someone very well could be getting proposed to and marriage could be on the table. Someone also could be moving in, to, in with their children in some sort of way. I have justice, Libra energy, divine justice coming in here, trying to bring balance to a situation, truth and balance, trying to move forward on truth, trying to move forward in balance, trying to figure out a way as to how to deal with a, a situation in the justice system possibly. Being we have higher government affairs, walking away from anything governmental because it just does not suit the world that we live in anymore. There's some sort of decision that needs to happen about walking away from a belief set or people that believe certain things. Tell me about this seven of pentacles and justice. Have you been waiting for justice? It seems that there's some great heartache based on justice that didn't happen or waiting for justice in some sort of way. The Divine's asking you to remember that karma will come back around in some sort of situation. I think, I think because something didn't turn out the way you'd hoped, perhaps, it's putting you through a rigmarole right now. There's some loss that you're facing and sadness. You want to put in the work? Absolutely. But there's some sort of conflict. There's, there's an upheaval here. I want to say that your relationships are going well. Your love relationships, your children relationships, all these sorts of things. But there's still conflict based on where the work is going to be put in. Once that is done, you will have a victory and people will see you for who you are, what it is you've done, and what you've brought to the table. So that's beautiful energy. See, here we have the four putting in the work to having a, a celebration, but there's more going on behind the scenes. You can't see what's all coming. You have psychic insights that there's divine has more reason for what's going on than you can even see at this point. And you are having faith in karma handing itself out to those who deserve it when whatever form that is. Let's get some messages from the angels and we finish this up and move forward. So a new opportunity in love, something that's going to take some absolute confidence, joy, overwhelming joy coming and a celebration based on a contract or a decision here with a fire sign possibly, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy of passion, new starts, ideas. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. To, <laughs> to help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. You could be dealing with a Virgo. That card came out in Virgo's reading as well. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams, desires, and do not compromise. You see, this is all about speaking your truth here. All of this color, the same color, is all about the throat chakra. Opening up the throat chakra and speaking the truth, speaking 
clearly from your heart, from your mind, being able to bring those things, those ideas through your throat chakra. It does no good to keep the ideas bottled up in your mind. It does no good to keep the ideas uh, festering in your heart. That's why we have the throat chakra in the middle to bring balance to the thoughts, balance to the heart and bring them out through the throat chakra. There's some sort of need to being led by faith here. Regardless of what happens, the divine wants you to know that you're protected from harm. So whatever is going on, whatever it is that you're facing, understand that it's not harm that's happening. It's for everyone's highest good, even though it may be painful to go through at times. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week. Blessings to you.